This is the document, a clear warning sign from August 2002, nearly eight years ago, that Toyota had a sudden acceleration problem and that according to Toyota's own service bulletin, the problem was electronic. If you look at this document, it says electronics. It says the fix is reprogramming the computer. It doesn't say anything about formats. The document is called a technical service bulletin and was given to CNN by a group of attorneys now seeking a nationwide class action lawsuit against Toyota. We brought the document to Clarence Ditlow, who heads the nonprofit Center for Auto Safety. Ditlow says the document, not previously made public, is an indication Toyota knew much earlier about an electronic connection to sudden acceleration, and he says the service bulletin was apparently hidden from the public, not only by Toyota, but by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, known as NHTSA. The service bulletin, though sent to every Toyota dealer and sent to NHTSA, was never made public. The government is really, you know, hiding this information from the consumer. They're in a... Con uh, a conspiracy with the auto industry to keep these out of the public sight. NHTSA declined comment on Ditlow's assertions. The lawyers now suing Toyota claim that this Toyota service bulletin is proof that the company knowingly lied to the public, blaming its sudden acceleration problems on floor mats or stuck gas pedals. Tim Howard is a law professor at Northeastern University who also heads the legal group but is saying Toyota hid the real problem for one reason. Recalling all affected vehicles could cost billions. They could fix these problems easily, but it would cost them about $500 a car nationwide. If you have six to seven million cars, you add the numbers, it's close to four to five billion dollars. It's hard to actually tell the truth when those numbers are at the bottom of that truth. Toyota's response to CNN was to discredit the claims being made by the attorneys suing the car company. Toyota strongly disputes these completely baseless allegations being driven by plaintiff's attorneys like Mr. Howard, Toyota said in a statement to CNN. Toyota intends to fight against these unfounded claims vigorously. Howard and his legal team will meet in a San Diego courtroom later this week trying to convince a federal judge to combine 88 lawsuits against Toyota into one giant class action litigation. Drew Griffin, CNN, Atlanta.